Good morning. It's November 10th, and this is your daily tarot reading. I am really feeling these rose quartzes this morning in my meditation, and then just grabbing a crystal for the reading. So I think what we'll do is something on all the energy of rose quartz, um, which is basically joy and compassion joy and compassion together. To me, it's such a joyful, joyful stone. So we'll just do like a past, present, future and how the Rose Quartz energy is playing into this Sunday, today, as we, for me, first time thinking about Yule coming up and the holidays and the full moon is in two days, so Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Let's do the past. And let's do the present. Dear Rose Quartz, dear Rose Quartz, dear Rose Quartz, dear Rose Quartz, the future. Mm -hmm. So, um, less tits, more cards. Um, <laughs> The past, the king of pentacles, the present, the empress, and the future, the queen of wands. So this is basically looking at how our joy and compassion can come through on this day and is trying to come through on this day. And we have kings and queens and a goddess, which is very, very nice. Um, coming through from the past is the King of Pentacles. Um, this is mastery of the body and the sensual, incarnated world. I think there is something very sensual about the King, usually. The sensuality can be feminine, felt feminine for us and in the tarot. Um, but the king is like really Taurus and I love that this is coming up on the Taurus moon. This is all of those Taurian things coming out from the past and leading us into our joy and compassion today. So I would say look around you and see how your mastery um, your compassionate mastery of all of the things in your home life and in your body are available to have laid a foundation for some joy today, which of course is also an invitation to hang out in that joy today. It is Sunday, hopefully a day of some kind of recreation, rest and recreation for a lot of people. And then the Empress is um, how this is available for us today. Yes, Goddess. Um, the Empress is, to me, she's very demeter -y. But in any case, she's a harvest goddess kind of energy in that it's nourishment and the kind of like receptivity that just overflows into abundance and the what um the empress really teaches us is how abundance comes and is sourced out of a sense of abundance if that makes sense like lately i've been doing a daily kind of gratitude ritual and just because of this principle from what i've learned from the teacher of the Empress, um, which is that, you know, in order to flow outward, you have to also receive inward the kind of, um, the sense of abundance, like the just, yes, 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 losing my words, but I think you know what I mean. And the Empress is inviting us into joy and compassion today um, this is how it will come about through just vast receptivity and um, generosity 
I really feel like generosity is going to be the key today to our joy. Mm, that's nice. Keep a lookout for that. As well as harvest, you know, it's a harvest. So that's another thing. I think both of these are inviting us into harvest. That is all of the work we've put in and the spiritual roots we've put down and all of this is kind of available to come on back as long as we are in that receptive position to notice it and be grateful for it. And then um, going forward, so this as a daily tarot is just sort of like, what is the door that is opening for us through all of these things? What is the door that is opening through the uh, that luscious lord of the body and and the manifested world in the king of pentacles and the um generosity and abundance of the empress are bringing us into a door for the day you know a door forward something is opening in us that's an opportunity to experience that joy and compassion that comes, that is so embodied in our Rose Quartz friends. And that's coming through as the Queen of Wands. Oh God, the Queen of Wands is um, where water meets fire. It's, it's where heart meets passion. Um, in a really sort of internally mature and self-possessed way. So this is kind of a door to our own charisma, right? This is the bitch that walks in the room and everyone is warmed by her presence. Warmed by her presence in sort of like an activating way in an inspiring way like yeah i can i can be that bitch too um you know i'm drawn to this black cat today her familiar i mean i think this is supposed to kind of represent her internal mastery um of her nature and her connection with spirit so it's also a very spiritual card but we have a door opening today, and I, I think we're going to feel it through kind of stepping into our own charisma and stepping into our ability to lead from the heart, but then use the tools of fire, of transformation, of um, inspiration to... Um, be that bitch in the room. Yes. Well, this is a lovely message from Rose Quartz. I feel like the themes on this Sunday are, you know, it's pretty easy to relax into all this. It's nice. You know, that, that there is a, uh, where we can kind of lead out of a foundation or, or draw from a foundation in the King and the Empress. And what it's, what it's pulling us towards is just more self-possession and um, badassery. Um, and all of that experience today, the strongest card in the deck, in the draw, the reading is, of course, the Empress, because this is the Major Arcana. You know, so this one is weighted above the rest. And um, what an opulent harvesty kind of November uh, invitation for this Sunday. Sunday. Yes, sun. There's so much sun in here. All right, enough. Um, thanks for watching. I would love if you would follow and subscribe and like and all the things and definitely comment because I, I want to interact with you guys and um, You'll see on the link tree link that I have um, other services that I offer as well, healing and of course, long form divination for clients. So I love you and I want you to have a lovely, unbelievably lovely Sunday. <laughs> All right. 
Alright, see you tomorrow.